Hey guys, welcome back to Jungle Dragons. Today is another insect review. Today we're talking about hornworms, aka goliath worms, or whatever you want to call them. They've got other names, I'm sure, as well. And today we're joined by my co host, Maraxes, who's awesome. And I put one superworm on his little uh, branch there just in case he gets hungry during the video. But, you know, he's nervous because normally I'm not this close to him talking. And so he's doing, he's ready to karate chop something, probably the hornworm. He's just going to chop it right in half. Um, okay, guys, so hornworms, this video is all about them. And I only get hornworms about twice a year. And they're mostly a treat. They're not like a staple in any chameleon's diet because they're very fatty. But chameleons can use some of that juice, some of that fat to stay healthy. And uh, a little bit of fat can be really good for them to have the energy they need to stay healthy during the winter. Um, and we just came out of winter. Again, I'm in the SF Bay Area and it's finally warming up. So I'm putting my chameleons back outside finally. So because they're gonna be spending more time outside and that potentially means less water during the daytime, I am giving them hornworms to kind of grow them up. Now, the cool thing about hornworms, guys, is not only that they're big and fatty, but they grow super fast, like super fast. And they're so big, they've got more, new, like each hornworm has literally got the water quantity of like 10 crickets, basically. Like, no joke. So they're getting a lot of water, water weight and fat, and some nutrients as well, but just not nearly as many nutrients as you'd get from like roaches or, or superworms, crickets, you name it. But they're really not about the nutrients. They're, they're for hydrating. And so um, I've actually even, one time I had a very dehydrated chameleon that I adopted from someone that didn't know how to take care of him. So I basically was just trying to save him. He was a, uh, he was a Jackson's chameleon, super dehydrated. Right when I got him, the same day I got him, I ordered some hornworms and, um, you know, giving him misting was helping him get rehydrated. But as soon as he started eating those hornworms, his eyes would popped back out and he looked a lot healthier after that. That hornworm just pooped. Um, these guys eat insanely fast and they poop um, literally probably once an hour, I swear. Like, that's how much they eat. Um, and so every morning... I actually take, this is how I store them. By the way, I think your hornworms will be happier if you take a little razor blade and cut some holes on the outside of these little containers that they have. Let me get a close up on this. Look at them, just beautiful. Just beautiful. He's a little bit green right now because he's still not as warm as he wants to be, but if I put him outside, he's gonna look spectacular. Ugh. Okay. So, as you can see, this is what these things look like. They've got a, a vented lid, but if you put them down like this, what you should do, uh, because then their poop falls down, and all you have to do is remove this lid and go throw it in the trash. And that's what I do probably once a day. And I just did it before this video, and there's already two more poops in there. That's, that's how much they poop. Just so you can see how many are in each one of these, there's 25 to 30 hornworms, 25 to 30. That is actually quite a bit because they all get so big. And the best thing, guys, this is a special deal for you, my followers and my, my, my viewers here. This is the best deal you can get. I got these from Mulberry Farms, okay? Mulberry Farms has an amazing deal that I'm going to tell you about right now. So Mulberry Farms is the only place that I buy hornworms anymore because if you look on Amazon, eBay, any specific insect breeder around the country, what you end up paying is quite literally about $15 per one of these, which means each hornworm is about it's 50 cents up to about 75 cents to be more accurate. That's kind of crazy. Like literally, cause you're only getting 25 to 30 per container. Do the math guys, like that's, it gets expensive, but Mulberry Farms, they farm these guys like crazy and so what they do is like honestly if you wanted to sell these on your own website you have to go to mulberry farms because they sell these guys in bulk and so what, what, what when i buy from them i always buy two get one free that's their deal you buy two get one free which instead of being 15 per each uh container it ends up equating to being basically 28 dollars for all three which means you're actually spending less than 10 dollars each that's a huge a lot of savings guys so if you want to get these guys get them from mulberry farms 
Now, I'm, this one's already empty, and you can see how much food they ate. Um, let me give you a close up. This one's already been completely eaten out, and there's a good amount of food in there in case I need to pass it on to the others. But the thing is, this food does go bad, it molds. So as soon as uh, the, the worms are, are done, you need to either take some out of these ones and put them in there, otherwise this will go bad pretty quickly. So you can't just like wait, all right? All right, um, now is a good time to tell you a little bit about the actual nutrients in superworms. So I'm gonna do a little quick take on what is actually in superworms. Are they healthy, are they bad? I mean, I already mentioned most of what you need to know, but let's give you a show of those uh, numbers right now. Hey guys, so you'll have to forgive me for what I said earlier. I wasn't entirely uh, up to date. I thought I remembered these numbers, but I was wrong. So, hornworms are actually very nutritious. Uh, they have a ton of moisture for their body weight, 85% moisture. That basically means they're like 85% water. Like, you know, they say uh, humans are like 70% water. They're 85% water. So when a chameleon needs them, they're getting a whole bunch of water because they are they get pretty big. If you feed a de uh, adult hornworms, you're giving off a lot of water. So that's great for dehydrated chameleons. Next, we've got protein. Um, the protein is really good. Uh, it's 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 actually maybe not comparable to to things like crickets and 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 roaches that have a really thick exoskeleton or chitin, um, so they don't really have much there. But considering uh, their size and everything, nine percent is pretty good. Fat percent is the amazing part. Despite how big they are, I I thought I remember them being very fatty, but I was confusing them with mealworms and superworms. In reality, they're only 3% fat, so that is just absolutely amazing. Fiber, they don't really have any fiber, so they don't have much there. Uh, and they don't have much ash, which is basically minerals and nutrients that are kind of more elemental in the sense that they're like literal minerals and such. So they don't have much there either. But the last thing that I'll mention that is really good to see is the calcium to phosphorus ratio. That is... Uh, hard to beat right there. Uh, the only thing that's better than that is basically earthworms is 1.5 to 1 uh, and black soldier flies which is 1.5 to 1 uh, as well. Same with worms. So you can't really do much better. Silkworms are a tiny bit better and they're, they get pretty dang big too. So silkworms are pretty fantastic which uh, you know I'll be checking out again soon this year. Uh, all right, so uh, you know I'm showing you a chart of some other insects here, and you'll see that if you can compare them with other insects, hornworms are just kind of like a strategic food. Uh, they're definitely not something you'd feed your chameleon or reptile, for that matter, uh, every day. But they definitely feel like fill a need when your reptile's dehydrated or. Uh, anything like that. So basically a really good uh, insect feeder insect to have kind of in your arsenal of things to feed your chameleon because um, I always like to remind people you cannot feed any reptile just one insect like crickets or something or mealworms because that is like literally being fed just bananas for the rest of your life or just uh, let's say Cheerios just Cheerios and that's it. Like, you are bound to get health issues very quickly. So you got to diversify. All right, guys, that basically summarizes everything for the nutrients uh, of this guy. And we're going to get back to the rest of the episode now. He just got it. He just did it. While I was wrapping up, he just grabbed it. Oh, yeah. They all rock back and forth when they're killing something. It's kind of funny. Just lullabying those bugs to sleep. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So now I'm going to talk about my... I'm going to give you my, my grade of hornworms. So like I've done in my previous videos, I've got a scoring sheet here. 12 categories and here we go so hornworms price i give them a one they're super expensive the most expensive 
feeders you can get. So they're at the bottom of the totem pole there. Size, they get a five, a perfect five. They are huge. The only things that get fives are dubia and super worms along with these guys. So huge, mungus. Nutrition, they get a three. They're in the middle of the table because they, they're kind of strategic. They're not super healthy, but they're not unhealthy either necessarily because fat is not bad necessarily unless you just keep feeding your, your chameleons fatty foods and then they will get fat and they will get health issues from being fat, <laughs> which is rare. Other reptiles get that too, like tegus, uh, bearded dragons especially, they, they can all get fat. And when they get fat, they get lazy. But I mean, if you think that's a cute thing, I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, rep reproduction speed, I give them a two, not a one. I give them a two because although it is hard to re like it is hard to breed these guys, but if you are doing it correctly, they reproduce like crazy. So, I mean, I kind of wanted to give that one a five, but it's hard to breed them, so I gave them a two, which is a big difference. So, kind of got some leeway there, guys. Uh, ease of care, I give them a four uh, because it's really easy. You get these cups, and they just eat in there, and they just go. You know, they just do the thing so it's almost as easy as it gets i should give them a five you know what let's amend that right now guys let's amend that right now i'm gonna give these guys a perfect five for ease of care instead of a three um so um next is ickiness i give them a four they're really not that icky like they're usually dry to the touch the food is wet but um they poop a lot so i didn't give them a perfect five i gave them a four but you don't even need to touch the poop so don't worry about it it's four it's very hot escapability i gave them a five they cannot escape they literally can't and if they do they will die because they need very specific food uh, so you get a perfect five Infestability, perfect five. They cannot infest, it is impossible. Uh, upkeep, like cleaning needs, I gave them a two because you gotta drain that poop like every day and if you don't, it'll pile up and it'll mold and it'll probably, it, I've seen it happen only once because I neglected them a little bit, but yeah, uh, it molded and then, wow, a bumblebee just came into the house. I wanna close, oh dang it, I was gonna close the door to see if my chameleons could get them. Um, okay. Smell, I give them a perfect five. Can't smell them at all, awesome. And then movement speed, I give them a one. They don't move very fast, so you know, it's it's not perfect in the sense that uh, they're not the best at getting your chameleon's attention and holding their attention and getting them to do, like getting them to eat them. So anyways, if you add that all up guys, they get a 42, which is, tri that's tied with crickets. So basically these guys are awesome. They are awesome, I love them. And that concludes the breakdown of, of what I think about hornworms. Um, and that wraps up my video, guys. Hey, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Please like and subscribe. And give me a like. Like that. Right there.